I know some of you think that this is a clickbait, that there's no such thing, it can happen, it doesn't happen, if you don't write jam, you can get into the university, if there was such a way, why is everybody writing jam, why is everybody killing themselves, this, this, that, 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 but I just have to say, this is not a clickbait, this is not a clickbait. <laughs> hey sunshines welcome back to my channel or welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is sarah i'm a medical student living breathing existing studying in nigeria west africa if you have not subscribed to this channel i honestly don't know what is keeping you or what you're waiting for please just go ahead and click the subscribe button now please yes now please Thank you. Yes, click the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share this video because sharing is caring. You don't know who might be in need of this information I'm putting out right now. So try as much as you can to share it to as many people as you can on different social media platforms just for people to get this information firsthand. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys of a way that I know of and that I am sure of. Of getting admission into the university without writing post journey to any course of your choice. I don't know how many people have heard of this program. It's called JUPEB, J U P E B, Joint University Preliminary Board Examination Board. There are different universities that have been accredited for this program. And here's a plus side to this program actually, before I go in depth on how to get in and how it works basically the good side to this is that you can actually use it in certain universities outside nigeria at that time in 2016 there were places like china russia um i think in london or something i've forgotten the, there were about five universities that accepted jupeb the jupeb results okay so basically as i said before it's a one-year program and you can do it in any accredited university, any university that does that. It, I think it was started by the University of Lagos in 2013-14-ish. Basically, how you get in is that you like register online on the school website, the school portal of the school you want to do it in. And before I, before I continue, I have to say this, that you don't have to apply for admission or a course in the school that you did your JPEB. For example, if you did JPEB in the University of Nigeria, that's UNN, and you want to go to the University of Lagos, you can use that result to apply to the University of Lagos. You must not, sorry, you must not um, use the results in the school that you did it in, okay? So basically, first of all, you register on the school website, depending on the school you want to study in, okay? Most times, most times it is preferable or advisable that you do it in the school that you want to go into for example if you want to go into UNN and you live in Lagos just go and do it in UNN for it's just easier okay something like that so you register on the school portal pay a certain amount I forgot how much I paid at that time for the form, you fill the form, all the necessary details, then you're giving a date for an interview. Everybody's giving a date for an interview, which is almost the same day for everyone, or maybe a week or so. So you go to the university that you apply to and you're being interviewed. There is no written exam, just an interview where you're asked to bring some papers like your birth certificate your yek result just a lot of documentation okay so if you have been given the admission an admission list comes out and you're granted the admission and now you can begin your study in that university and it takes just one year after the period of one year you write the exam and after a few months your results comes out and you need to apply into any university of your choice so during the program you are to pick three courses of your choice and usually these three courses should be courses related to what you want to do for example if you want to study medicine definitely you need to pick biology chemistry and physics if you want to study engineering you pick maths you pick physics and chemistry something like that okay 
um and the another good side to this program is that you go straight into 200 level that is taken as a hundred level ish but in certain departments in certain faculties you are asked to start from first year okay let me give you an example for example now in nursing um in nursing rehab and courses like that in the university they take maths but in medicine we don't take maths in first year so if you're in nursing you did your combination was bio chem and physics you're missing out math so you have to start from first year to get your math but once you if you don't if you don't take math for example medicine dentistry and courses like that you can go straight into your 200 level economics or sometimes it will just be required by your faculty that you should start from first year but some faculties will take you directly to second year and that is just amazing if you ask me so during your stay you your courses your course codes are like 001 bio 001 bio chem 001 chem 002 chem 003 chem 004 that's how they are labeled because you're not yet in the university but you're in the university i don't know if you understand what i mean so after your stay off you have two semesters like every uni year you have to semester the first semester and second semester and after one year you get to write an exam in your school you don't go anywhere in that uni that you're in you get to write an exam um external invigilators come in and all of that when you're done with your exam your result comes out and basically it's graded over 15. okay let me talk about the exam a little bit at the end of first semester you write an exam in quotes it's like a test but it's like an exam it's a test but it's like in an exam form in second semester also you write an exam that's like a test it's a test but it's like an exam okay then when you're done you now write your final exam so your final exam you have like 100 questions you have the practical aspect and everything just like a regular first year experience then um, at the end of the day, each course is graded over 5, so you have 3, that's 15, so you score over 15. Then, um, if you get 15, at that time, if you get 15 over 15, they just add 1 for you, so that's 16, it kind of boosts your points. I really don't understand the essence of that, but yeah, it was done. Okay, so basically that's how the exam is so when you're done with the exam now it's time to apply into the university you go to direct entry jam direct entry you register for direct entry the course the schools that you want to go into and all of that when the time comes to process the admission and everything you are um, accepted now there are cutoff points for each courses in medicine at that time the cutoff point was 12 so if you got 12 and above, you'll be considered for admission, okay? Not that you'll be given admission, but you'll be considered for admission. Um, definitely everybody that I know that did you pair, I think the least cutoff point was, I think, 7 or 8. Like, I mean, generally, to get admission, it was around 7 or 8. So everybody that I knew in my time in 20, 2015 stroke 2016 set, that did that exam got admission i mean either they used jamb or they used yek and again there's nothing stopping you from writing jamb if you want to i did that and that is what i used when i wrote exam in my time i got um 13 over 15. i got a bb i think so yeah yeah, ABB 544. So I got A in chemistry, B in physics, and B in biology. So that is 544. Four. That's 13. I got 13 over 15. But I was not interested in going to second year because of a lot of things. Fear of second MB. Um, I was not ready to start preparing for a promotional exam and all of that so I decided to opt for the jam option which would take me directly to first year 
and again if you would love to step down if you are you feel overwhelmed with the whole second year work you can decide to step down and start from first year is your choice okay so i really don't understand the how to process the like if you want to go to international schools i don't understand that so you have to find that out for yourself if you'd be interested in taking that option of going outside the country to pursue your admission like go to china russia all those places basically so yeah this is a way of getting admission without the higgy haggas of jam of writing utme and writing post utme but the downside to this is that this exam or this um course is expensive is almost it's almost you can compare it to a private university in all honesty but the good part of it is that it's just one year and you get in straight without wasting time i hope this was helpful to somebody and i know that um admission like admissions are going on right now in different unis for the JPEP program it usually happens immediately after post UTME where they know that oh some people didn't get in some people got in you know that kind of thing so JPEP is an option you should consider if you've been having difficulties in getting admission for a while now so yeah guys this is the end of the video I hope this video was helpful to somebody um, don't forget to share this video to someone you ne never can tell who will be in need of this information Okay, so I'll see you guys in my next one But first of all if you have not subscribed Please hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments below your questions Inquiries if you don't leave it in the comment section My email is always in the description box where you can email me your questions And I will be glad and willing to reply all your questions. All right guys. This is the end of the video See you guys in my next one. I love you as always Bye.